Yo, what's good everybody? What up YouTube world? It's your boy SBX coming to you once again with another video. And this time I want to talk about, you know, what's going on in the ATL, Atlanta, hot Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have friends over there, you know what I'm saying? I used to live over there for eight years or whatnot. So, you know, I want to talk about what's going on with Atlanta based on this pandemic where... The governor of Atlanta is basically just reconsidering to open up barbershops, open up certain bars and things like that during this pandemic, which is completely stupid and completely retarded, you know, and I wouldn't be surprised because Atlanta is known for doing some ass backwards shit, you know, so, you know, coming from a New Yorker's perspective, it's like, you know, even our shit is not even 100% accurate on some crazy shit, you know what I mean? Because, you know, every state is different, and some laws and some regulations are different, and also the vibe, but, you know, I just feel like, you know, ain't really much to say about this topic, but, I mean, let's be real, it's really stupid, and you're doing this because, you know, the vast majority of people who need their hair done are black people, and, you know... I get it, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at me, for example. I'm growing my hair out, you know what I'm saying? I haven't had a haircut before this pandemic. So, to be honest, though, guys, I'm growing my shit out. And I don't give a fuck about no damn haircut. And I still don't give a fuck about a haircut during this pandemic right now. I mean, I can line myself, I can trim my beard if I wanted to, because I know I look raggedy as fuck. But, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody impress you're not impressing nobody. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna look good for yourself, then all means fine. You know what I mean? And, and in regards to getting your hair done, your nails done, of course you do it yourself. If you got, you know, hair products, like for example, if you got it for the women with straight hair or or whatever, they get their hair straightened out. For the men, of course, if you got long hair, you gotta, you know, you want your hair braided or you want your dreads to be you know in a certain design or if you want to get a haircut I mean like I said before I was cutting my hair and shit I was like you know I haven't been to a barber shop in two years you know and because of these two years I was managing to cut my own damn hair instead you know so if you know how to cut your own hair, then you're fine, you know? But the people who don't cut their own hair, don't know how to cut hair, hey, I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all gotta have to grow an afro or look, grow long hair, whatever the case may be, you know? And especially for the females, they gotta get their nails done. And, you know, they gotta do it their, their own homemade way of getting themselves a Medicare and pedicure and whatever the case may be if you're a professional hair there's a um, dresser or whatever or beautician then you know your skills is not in, um, in vain you know I mean at the end of the day for us for Atlanta for opening that shit opening bars and opening hair salons and stuff like that because people can't stand to be in a quarantine state that's stupid like what if, like, for example, what if there is a fucking war in the middle of the streets? Or what if there was dinosaurs or Godzilla would have fucking, you know, sabotaged the whole city of Atlanta? Or there was an apocalypse going on? Do you think that somebody want to go to a fucking hair salon or go to a bar during an, an apocalypse? Hell no. But we're talking about a pandemic. This is different, you know, because even if you do or don't want to believe in this shit, because statistics are saying that a lot of people are dying every single day because of this damn virus. If you be stupid and you just wanted to do whatever you want, then you're causing yourself that L because, let's be real, you know, if you go into the barbershop and it's infected full of um, coronavirus then how the fuck are you gonna um, manage? 
you know, it's going to put yourself and your family and everybody else in danger. So, you know, the governor of Atlanta is really retarded for allowing people to go to these things. And even with Florida, Florida, they fucking allow people to go to the beach. And that's stupid. I mean, it goes to show that the down dirty south is on some dumb ass backwards shit. You know, and they think, oh, well, I ain't afraid about no damn coronavirus. I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna get my hair done. I'm gonna go drink my beer at the bar. And and I'm gonna do the day on out. <laughs> you know? Not everybody in Atlanta sound like that or anywhere in the south. So that's just my typical hillbilly accent. But of course, you know, black in Atlanta. Like, I shouty. I hey, bruh. I'm about to get my hair cut, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And the next day, you know, a goddamn shot, a motherfucker got that goddamn coronavirus and shit, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if there's some people, like, like I said, living in Atlanta, you have some motherfuckers who don't have any common sense. So, the ones who don't have common sense, I don't know what to tell you. But the ones that do have common sense, like my friends back in Atlanta, even the ones that were not even from Atlanta. The point of the matter is, is that your safety is more important than going to a fucking barber shop or nail salon or beauty salon or going to a bar. Like I said, you, there is so much that you can do in, and during this qu on quarantine state. Like for example, like I said, like you know, if you want to get your hair done, do it yourself. Or if you have family in the house that could do your hair, do let them do your hair. Braiding, straightening out, dreads, uh, haircut, if the guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, and if you want some alcohol, I mean, again, that's why you can go to the fucking stores to buy it. Or if there's a possibility that you, I mean, it's not really that. It's not really good to ship alcohol online or do, I mean it's, it's okay to ship it but it's not good for your delivery so you know I don't know it's whatever way you can get some liquor I mean people buy liquor I buy liquor from the store too you know what I'm saying and at the end of the day people want to you know rewind they want to get their drink on if they want to get their hair cut, I understand that, or their hair done, or their nails done. But going to a barber shop, going to a beauty salon, going to your Vietnamese nail salon, I do your nail for you, I do your nail for you, no. Even with them Asian motherfuckers, like, hell, I mean, it sounds racist, but even with them nail salons, with the um, Vietnamese, Koreans, Chinese, or whatever, don't go to the motherfuckers because if China has the coronavirus and they were the first one to do it I think we need to ban anything around Asians you know what I'm saying no Chinese food no Vietnamese nail salon no Japanese food I mean like I said I don't mean to sound racist and there some of the Asians had nothing to do with the coronavirus but I mean step away from the Chinese let's put it like that so if you want to try some Japanese food go ahead if you want some uh, ramen noodles go ahead let's stay the fuck away from Chinese food you know cuz I hope they ain't put no fucking bat and dog and rat and all that shit so let's just be long let's just be vigilant on our surroundings like we're supposed to be doing I mean yes yeah, it's bullshit let's be real I wish this shit didn't ex fucking exist because it ruined not only my plans but everybody else's plans to get their shit together or their fun time or whatever so we're stuck at the house you know for the extroverts they bore out of their fucking mind they feel like they're in you know lockdown or whatever in jail and while the introverts it's like eh fuck it you know I got games I got books I got music, I got the internet, I got my laptop, you know what I'm saying? It's heaven on earth, you know what I mean? And lazy motherfuckers who don't want to work too, and the government is giving us fucking money. 
you know, stimulus check number two, we may, get, I mean, I heard that we're going to get it, and that's like double the money where you get $2,000. Hell, I'm waiting for that shit too, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, But at the end of the day, like I forgot to mention, I got mines. I didn't, I didn't expect that, and I got this shit before. Uh, like, I, the, uh, I think I got it like two days after I did the video based on the stimulus check. But like I said, don't mean to be off. I mean, did a video about the stimulus check, but I don't mean to be off topic on the subject. I just feel like at the end of the day, Atlanta is going to be meeting the statistic levels of New York or more if the government, the governor stopped being a fucking moron. Because if, if everybody gets sick and not, a, and, then, and then to mention too, I don't see any statistic levels on recovery of people from Atlanta that got the coronavirus. It's only some other states. So New York, we at number one on the most confirmed and the most death and the most recovery. But at the same time, Atlanta, if they're gonna do that tomfoolery shit and allowing people to go to the barber shop and go to the bars and shit like that or go to I don't know some events or recreational centers and shit like that or go to school during this pandemic then that's hey Atlanta will take that out so and it's gonna be at the point where just like how people will say that Atlanta is gonna be the gay state of America and separate between Boston and um, San Francisco you know what I'm saying I mean like I said ever since I left Atlanta all of a sudden they got on that bullshit and like I said like the Trump the public transportation is even worse you renting a house is more expensive and you know a lot of shit because when I came to Atlanta everybody was all for the hype like okay or some Tyler Perry type shit or motherfuckers from seeing the rap videos and shit like that that they wanted to have that ATL Hollywood experience but like I said um that was a long time ago I'm glad I'm back to New York I'm glad to have that New York state of mind but at the same time it's like I can't fuck with you know stupid shit like I've been in the south half of my life and you know some parts of the south is decent and some part of the south is just just ass backwards you know what I'm saying I just personally feel like I don't like the south and because of the South, you know, some, like, I don't mean to offend the Southerners out there, but you can't do a motherfucking thing in the South except see a friend, go to the club, and whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the South is very extroverted. Like, everybody knows everybody, everybody want to hang out, do whatever. But at the end of the day, during this pandemic, it's like, just like my peoples in Brazil, they can't stand this quarantine shit and they miss the vibe of going to the beach, going to the club, and just, you know, having to be within nature, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, let's see what happens next month, let's see what happens during the summertime, hopefully this fucking COVID-19 bullshit will end, you know... I'm tired of hearing that shit on the news. I don't even fucking pay attention to this shit. I mean, I might have to think about it for maybe a few minutes or pretty much if I have something to voice down on the YouTube, I would. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I try to distract myself on talking about whatever that I want to talk about on my next videos based on wrestling, based on video games, based on you know my opinions towards life and shit like that like I want to go back to talking about some SJW bullshit um the Me Too movement feminists and all that bullshit you know in fact that's going to be my next video talking about the Me Too movement so at the end of the day y'all like I said Atlanta y'all need to rethink y'all options before y'all make I mean y'all already did it but hopefully y'all regret that option of doing that shit because this coronavirus is not 
for play play so anyways guys I'm gonna have to wrap this up please leave your comments on the comment section below I love to know everybody's opinion make sure you hit that bell icon like share and subscribe to the channel until then folks SBX wrapping this up thanks for watching be safe and peace out Get off of me, I'm fucking deep in Tennessee With my brothers from the 3, we quick to click it